Author and wellness expert Dr. Mark Sherwood joins us now on Real Life 360 to dig deeper into the quest for wellness and those holiday health tips. Dr. Mark, welcome. Yes. Thank to you guys for having me. So nice I to have you it's here. Good to be here. Yes. So normally the holidays is a time where people say, "Eh, forget about being healthy and yeah. forget about wellness," but you say don't. No, the holidays is a wonderful time. It's my favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. We have somehow become to let it get twisted into a different time of thing. Right. Instead of becoming a, being about gratitude, Thanksgiving, and just in awe of our wonderful Jesus, mm -hmm. we've made it about gluttony and greed right. instead. You know, right. And they get us in trouble. And I say to people this, do you enjoy this time of year? And they say, well, of course I do. I love it. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy it, live in a way that you want to see others again next year. Right. Hey, if we live away and neglect right. it uh, now, we're not going to really reap the benefits. We shouldn't spend all year long mm -hmm. saving up to lose what we've gained all year long. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. that, that's, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all, right? Right. Yeah. Well, what do you say to people who feel like it's kind of fanatical to be so concerned about sugar? Sugar, yeah. I was listening to you. know, to like the kind of person that would measure <laughs> that would read every label, of sugar, and yeah. read the label and say, "Hey, kids." Well, you know, it, just to give you a little affirmation, I appreciate yes. that <laughs> because yes. I do the same thing, and here's why. You know, sugar in itself is a is a toxin. It's right. an inflammatory food. Right. Mm -hmm. Inflammation, get this, is the precursor for all sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. And I didn't yes. say some; I said all. Oh. So the inflammatory foods, if we pull those out, that just tells us by intuitive reasoning that we can control a lot of the sickness and diseases that come upon us by reducing the inflammatory foods. Right. Sugar, artificial sweeteners, um, fried foods, fast foods, MSG, excess mm -hmm. alcohol, excess caffeine. Right. Those are all, and I mean all inflammatory foods. So mm -hmm. good job reading the, reading the labels like that. You know, when our systems are bogged down with toxins mm -hmm. as they are, we were talking earlier about the constant barrage of, of inflammatory foods that come on. The system can't handle it anymore. It's designed to handle some, yeah. of course, but it can't handle all. It becomes like a, a toxic waste dump. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, Mark, I mean, you know, to bring this into reality, it's, yeah. it is Christmas time, and yes. people bless others with baked goods that they make. I mean, we're pastors. I get trays of the most amazing cookies. Of course. And biscottis and breads. I mean, yeah. really, what, what do we do? You say thank you, and mm -hmm. you appreciate that. You yeah. never never do anything about that. You, you have a taste, you have a bite, you keep it in moderation. Right, uh, moderation. But don't, don't, be, uh, don't make uh, holiday season a, a gorge fest or a glutton right, fest. Right. Just enjoy the time, enjoy the family. That's what it's about. And if your system is relatively clean, mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you're, I, I use this many times with the clinic in the patient, with the patients, I'll give you two wild cards a week. Yeah. Play them as you want to, right? Okay. And if you'll just live like that, you'll be fine. And so during the holidays, just enjoy the time and say thank you, God bless you, and appreciate the hard work and the labor yes, of love that right. they showed you. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, is exercise walking at the mall? <laughs> yes, it is. I see patients all the time, and get this, you, you should not over-exercise, and should, you should not use exercise as a way to control weight or the figure. It okay. should be about what we put in our mouth. Mm -hmm. I have people all the time, and just a brief testimonial, a person I was talking about earlier, uh, similar, in six months' time, this person had, had dropped a percent body fat of 11%. Wow. And he was wow. not doing it by exercise. I told him to walk, be active, make activity a part of his life. Mm -hmm. And he did. He did. He would go to the malls. He would walk up the stairs mm -hmm. instead of taking the, uh, the escalator or ele elevator. Mm -hmm. And he would park far out in the parking lot uh -huh. so as to avoid door dings. Uh -huh. And right. it was also good because if he bought a lot of stuff, right, mm -hmm. he would have to ponder his purchases okay. so he would have to carry it all the way out to his car. Sure. So it really was a good technique, but walking is so important. And I always recommend right. people that will walk just after your meal, mm -hmm. after a holiday meal, walk for 10 minutes. That actually aids in the digestion process. So yeah. we are really in a culture where um, that quest for wellness isn't necessarily a priority. What would you say to someone who maybe has that little bit of interest to start yeah. that quest but doesn't yet have that conviction? Why is it important? I understand people having that little pushback. I always ask people the question, how ready are you? And I'll get, right. well, I'm 90% there. And here's why people fail in that area because they've had so much failure in the past by following simple little temporary programs. Mm -hmm. 
you know, a little temporary diet or a simple nutritional plan that promises X, Y, Z, and they failed. So they, they question, will this work? Mm -hmm. And so fear is that little bit that holds back there. So I tell people, get rid of the fear. Yeah. Don't worry. Put the fear on the desk. I've got big enough shoulders, I'll handle that for you. Mm -hmm. And we'll get you on a plan that's for life. Right. I want your life to be not just uh, right. increased quantity as God allows, but mm -hmm. high quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the family, enjoy the kids, right. have many Thanksgiving, many holidays together. Right, yeah. and right. We're, we're on Real Life 60. We want people to actually live life and life abundantly. That's it. And and one of your, you know, your website is Live for E, yeah. Live for Eternity. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is what good nutrition does. It does, and the reason we came up with that acronym was mm -hmm. this. The four parts are physical, emotional, mm -hmm. intellectual, and spiritual. And I think that's the major breakdown. People are broken spiritually and try to mm -hmm. fix it physically, right. or they're broken physically and try to fix it spiritually. Mm -hmm. We connect the dots together, and we mm -hmm. want people to live this life out and have this abundant, joyous life that God calls us to live right. and not right. back down. Amen. We need to enjoy this thing. Have yeah. fun. Don't be boring, as we were saying earlier. Yeah, right. right? And that's really the key is to find what works for you yeah. that you can be on for the mm -hmm. rest of your life, not those, those fad diets. So, can you real quickly, in a nutshell, hit the issue of emotional eating for all of the women? And yeah. it's an emotional yeah. time of year. Yeah. It's a, it's, you're, you're feeling, sensing, yeah. and you want to comfort. Yeah, How can not we? Not just women, men. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for forgiveness with the bitterness, anger, and the control issues uh -huh. mm. because the things that we use for comfort mm -hmm. are the things that don't talk back to us and don't bite back and don't run from us. Mm -hmm. right. So truly, if, if we're honest, this is real life. Yeah. If we're honest with ourselves, the reason yes. we get so yeah. stressed out is because we can't control everything. Sure. Yes. Sure. We can't control their people. We can't control the family. We can't control who brings what and who gets what and, right. and all that stuff. We, we, we really can't. So we've got to stop, slow down, mm -hmm. let go of that, mm -hmm. give the control issues over to God, when we do, we find that He begins to control our life and food doesn't control us. Amen. Awesome. That's awesome. Thank you, Dr. Mark. We want you to have a healthy holiday season and live a long, amazing life.